Hello, welcome to Arm Restricted View Film Festival, and we're here today for Meet the Director with uh, Victoria Taylor Roberts, who directed The Cookie Cutters. Uh, hi, Victoria, how are you doing? I'm really well, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you enjoying lockdown? Uh, it has its good and its bad. Um, work continues to be hectic. Um, writers just tend to feel a lot more guilt for not writing every single hour of this lockdown day. I know. So, I, yeah. I've had yeah, a lot of writer friends saying that. They feel like, you know, but then there was, uh, was someone published that paper, I think, um, some academic about we've got to stop doing that because it's it's not normal it's not like when you when you said you know if, if i had three days i'd do this you know this was thrust upon us in a different way so therefore your brain is reacting to it differently which i took as a great excuse so uh, <laughs> i think it is a great excuse i will now take that as a great excuse thank you you're passed on kindly to me <laughs> yes it's not it's not my fault it's not my fault academic said yeah. <laughs> um so uh lovely so um you you wrote and direct the cookie cutters. I mean, where did the idea come from? You know, where did this sort of all come from? Um, I like dark humour, and mm. I really like looking um, at social issues and placing them in very banal environments. Because um, I think it's a really good place to explore social issues, because often they do crop up in banal environments. Um, and I'm a parent of a child who's just made her way through primary school um, in an environment where I had an awful lot to draw from. Um, <laughs> and I, yeah, I, 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 I found a lot of humour in that incredibly selfish, self-orientated, solipsistic um, nature that is the modern well-to-do parent. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. I mean, it's it's um, it's lovely. And in fact, I've worked with Katrina before, so it was lovely to see her, see her on there. Um, yeah, playing such such a <laughs> she's an amazing actress. Character, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, she she's so much fun. I've worked with her since um, gosh, I've known Katrina now a decade, and she is so um, she's she's a really good character actress because she can do so many different things i've watched her do many different things and worked with her when i was acting doing very a lot of different types of, of, of parts so she's a dream to work with she's the second time i've worked with her on one of my films yeah. all right all right lovely yeah. um and you know how long did it take to shoot um um it took us one day i'm currently sitting in the set actually Are you? um <laughs> yeah i am i am we shot it in um in my dining room um kitchen yeah. space um it was whenever i'm cheap if you can if you don't have to buy a location make a location absolutely you? so that's how it works um particularly in short films um it's on the low low so um it was a it was a day um, and we we put aside a weekend in case we needed to do two days. But I have I just got really lucky. I had a fantastic bunch of actors, fantastic production team, brilliant DOP um, Jacques and his first AD Jake Morris, who were super speedy. Um, and we literally threw it all together in seven or eight hours. We actually finished early, believe wow. it or not, in the day. We didn't need the two days. We got it all done in one and came in a couple of hours shorter than we thought we would. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Have you worked with these guys before in your other stuff? No. No. <laughs> no. I've worked with each of the actors before. Yeah. All three actors I've, I've, I've worked with before, so that was great. We knew each other. Mm. Um, but no, I got really lucky. I must admit, I spend a lot of time um, picking the teams beforehand. Um, because I know that one, I always think about the fact that I will probably want to work with them again if they're good. So I know that it's 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 great to try and get the right person because filmmakers are fantastically loyal. Every you know, once you find a team that works well with you, um, and the egos can be kept to a minimum, um, or or you know, battered down with some jelly donuts and uh, a couple of cups of coffee, then you've got a, a dream team for life. And I think a lot of people that do short films keep pulling the same team back in again and again and again. Yeah, yeah. It you know, makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, it really does, yeah. I mean, it just, it's shorthand then, isn't it? It's just, you know, you don't have to go through everything. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, I mean, I know you've written for um, 
for stage, film, and television before, and um, and you've produced sort of theatre and film. But this is uh, your second film as a director, is that right? Yes, only my second film as a director. Yeah. What made you decide you wanted to step behind the camera? And um, I think it was, I'm from that breed. There's, there's two different breeds. There's the director who becomes the writer, because the director wants to create the vision that's, that's coalesced in his, in his or her head. Mm -hmm. And then there's the writer um, who wants to create the vision that's coalesced in his or her head. Um, just depending from which angle you come at yeah. it. And I think that when, for me, being a director is a, is a was really just about um, necessity, about knowing that I'd written these words and I had an idea of these characters and I needed the person to take it all the way through. Mm. Because it's a complex, cookie cutters is really complex. They're not bad humans, they're just behaving really badly. And there's something rather horrible about them, but I wanted people to like them and to understand that they are every one of us. They're all over the place. <laughs> they're, they're breeders. Of course, they're all over the place. Um, so I, I needed to, to be, do, deal with that in a really nuanced way. And that meant then coaching a director, which is disrespectful. So it's easier to do that myself. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, uh, and what's next? Are you working on another project at the moment? Or? Um, I am. I'm back. I'm back doing um, a few things, actually. I am writing, writing very hard at the moment. I have got um, a two pilots that are getting polished at the moment, one for a comedy series and one for a drama series. I'm trying to polish those up. And um, I am working with, I'm going to write an attachment program with the um, Oxford Playhouse, mm. and I have to deliver a play to them by September, um, which is really similar to the cookie cutters in theme. I'm exploring the same socio-political thing. Right. I, think, I think neoliberalism has really got under my skin recently. Um, so I'm, I'm still exercising those demons with, and oh, I'm doing it now right. on stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so just very busy, very busy and being creative, which is, which is great. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, um, and well done on the film. And I, I, I loved cookie cutters. I, I laughed and really enjoyed it. And I thought it's, you know, it just, you do kind of like these horrible, well, not horrible people, as you said, but these people behaving badly, um, which they are. But, but at the same time, you're laughing along with them. It's very funny. Um, so congratulations. Um, Thank you. There's, just to, to finish up, there's a couple of little questions I just want to ask quick fire so we can get to know you a little bit better. Um, mm -hmm. Who would be your favourite actress? <gasps> oh, God, that's like opening a box of roses and asking for your favourite chocolate. <laughs> um, do you know what? Um, I do. I have. Do I have the pick of anybody? A list and, and over. Anyone anything? you like? Really? Oh wow! Um, Just to make it easier. Do you know what? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you know what's really annoying is that I know exactly who it is, and I, her name's left me because that's that's just really annoying. Her name's just gone and left me. Um, so Kate Blanchett. Yeah, fantastic actress. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, well, who would be your favorite director? Oh, another writer director, Pedro Maldivar. Oh, gosh. That's it, yeah. What a dream, yeah. And, um, all right, what's your favorite film? Ah, uh, I was thinking about this the other day, and I actually thought back to um, my favorite film of the moment is Pain and Glory, um, which is Pedro Maldivar. Um, and Antonio Banderas was just excruciatingly brilliant in it. And it's a beautiful film. It's just beautiful. Oh, so yeah, Pain of Glory. Pain of Glory. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Victoria, for joining us. And, um, and uh, yeah, you can see the cookie cutters on Tuesday, the 14th of July. Tickets at unrestrictedview.co.uk. And now straight after this, we're going to have... Um, a trailer for the series of Agatha Raisin from our sponsors at Free At Last TV. But thanks, Victoria. Lovely to see you. And, Thank you very much. Uh, big soon. Take care. All right. Death threats juicy enough for you? I hope you're not the amateur busybody that the police say you are. Right. Well, I'll show them. I thought I might take up a new hobby. The mating dance. Hot and reckless. 
I have something to confess. Um, deadly. Ah! We all set on the plan? All clear. Mingle. Eyes. Ears. Rogering that. I can assure you that I can get to the bottom of this. We're never so professional, Fee.